city of Fort Wayne is distributing over $400,000 in grants to local nonprofits. Fox 55's Jeremy Masukovich tells us the impact the funding will have throughout the community. And to bring services to kids who are needy the most is just an exceptional opportunity. The Fort Wayne Boys and Girls Club is one of 17 nonprofits receiving federal grants from the city of Fort Wayne. We want to enhance the quality of life in these communities. CEO and President Joe Jordan says the funds will be used to staff their new facility at the Fort Wayne Housing Authority property, Brook Mill Court. We provide programming in healthy lifestyles, leadership and character, and academic success. So we have a, a group of programs around those three areas. So we'll be providing that every single day. Mayor Tom Henry says the goal of the grants is to help low and moderate income residents with shelter, employment skills, domestic violence support, and youth development. We actually have a committee that takes a look at a number of possibilities in the city. And through conversations and applications and dialogue, we determine ultimately which ones we feel would uh, be in the position to best meet, meet the needs of our citizens. The total amount of funding is nearly 445000 and the grants range from fifteen to $50,000. Well, the whole idea uh, as far as Boys and Girls Club was to reach beyond their current uh, establishment. Uh, it's, it's got a great location now, but to be able to reach out and open up satellite organizations will do nothing but uh, meet the needs of more and more young people. The Boys and Girls Club will not be paying rent for the Fort Wayne Housing Authority space. Jordan says the collaboration will allow the Fort Wayne Boys and Girls Club to reach 150 children in the community. It's a win for our community. And we need more collaborative, collective impact models like this to work with our children and our families, those who are, who are in need. In Fort Wayne, Jeremy Masukovich, Fox 55 News. Jordan says the Brook Mill Court Boys and Girls Club location is ready for business. However, the staff will spend the next month building relationships in the community before opening their doors.